couple of things that you need to know about this one, particularly if you look at the colour of it in, in the glass, it has about the same amount of colour as a one-year-old Australian Riesling, um, which is quite curious given that the wine lives in barrel uh, and that it's spent in the case of this wine, La Goya Manzanilla, which is what I have in my glass, it's been in barrel for um, a period of eight years. Uh, any normal table wine that spends eight years in barrel is going to be oxidised to death, a really funny uh, sort of orange-brown colour and completely undrinkable. So it's kind of remarkable that this looks just like, you know, young crisp white wine. Even more remarkable, if you imagine the barrel this big that the wine lives in, um, about, there's about that much um, airspace in the head of the butt, so the, the barrels aren't even topped off. Um, which is all really puzzling and very quickly explained away um, by telling you the secret trick of Finos and Manzanillas is that the sherry producers allow the natural yeast in the winery, um, in fact they encourage it by, by um, spraying, spraying it onto the surface, surface of the wine, they inoculate the surface of the barrel with a yeast culture and the yeast quickly grows into a, a giant lung-like thing, a bit like an insulable bat in your roof. There's millions and millions of um, single-cell yeast organisms um, growing together and forming this big floating um, mat or raft that completely seals the surface of the barrel, allows the wine to breathe in and out the air of the bodega, um, but stops the wine from oxidising from any colour pickup and any of the negative um, connotations of oxidisation. So it's, it's a highly oxidative regime. The wine breathes in the air of the bodega all of the time. Uh, and what this does is gives you uh, a wine that starts off as a 12.5% alcohol, crisp, light, dry, but slightly boring white wine made from the local Palomino grape. Palomino is excellent in this situation. Uh, it's a hot, flat, um, you know, blasted by Mistral winds um, region with very poor soil. Um, Palomino has uh, nice natural acidity so it gives a, a well-shaped, crisp, flighty, nervous base wine that doesn't have a lot of character. The Herethanos, the people in Jerez, then add character by um, firstly ageing in barrel, secondly sealing the, the surface of the wine with the, with the floor yeast as, the, as these yeast cells uh, are given birth to, live, die quickly and replicate themselves. The dead yeast cells sediment down through the wine just and just like the yeast from the secondary fermentation in champagne and sparkling wine adds yeast character to the wine, so does the yeast from the floor, floor that's grown on the surface of the sherry barrels. And the final character additive is the fact that this virtually giant lung or diaphragm mechanism that, 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 the, that the wine in the barrel constitutes is constantly breathing in the air in the bodega. Thus, the location of the bodega in either Jerez or San Lucar for Fino and Manzanilla respectively uh, makes the air in the bodega the terroir of sherry, if you like. There are no other variables, the barrel's the same, the identical fruit from the Alberitza soils is the same, the process is, is the same, but the condition of the air is, is different. In Jerez, where Fino is, is, is made, uh, the air tends to be hot and dry. In San Lucar on the coast, the air is much cooler and more humid. Uh, a Fino will have uh, the, the basic apple character of, of sherry will have a, a sort of a bit of a nutty, brassy overlay. It's a reasonably warm, full-bodied style of sherry. Uh, Manzanillas in San Lucar um, are apple and then that goes to chamomile flower from, from the yeast cells um, and also to a sort of sea spray, saline, um, oyster shell, um, br briny kind of kind of character, which is li literally, as I said, the, the, the cool coastal air in, in, in the bodega being the, the terroir or the final conditioning factor of, of the wine. And the Fino and Manzanilla are in fact both Finos in style, uh, but stylistically Manzanilla is named differently to, uh, to reflect the difference in, in tasty, crisp 
um, del delicacy that they have. Uh, that said, under most circumstances, if you're in a bar and you want to have this so sort of wine uh, and you're offered either a Fino or a Manzanilla, um, they're very close to being um, the same idea and the, f and the, and the same um, finished effect in your mouth. Cheers. Thank you.